How's it going folks? Welcome back to the VIA pinstriping page. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing if you like pinstriping content. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you all so very much for watching again. Uh, today we're going to continue with this uh, Chevy SSR little toy truck. Um, I did a live video of this part of the pinstriping and now we're, I'm going to pre-record this uh, second, second part. I'm using, um, today I'm going to try something different. I got the Mac Vondago Mini Saber Double Zero and some Alpha Enamel White. I figured I'll just kind of keep it old school with this and just do uh, blue and white. <clears throat> this is not a cream or anything, it's just a straight up white. Now, I don't have a whole lot of room to mess around here, so I think uh, we'll see what I can do to add to this. I was having a super hard time when I did the original designs. So hopefully this second part will go a little smoother. I'm sorry for the glare. With the second color, you're really just trying to accentuate the shapes that you've already got. And hopefully add to the design, not take away from it. Um, I might consider putting a little name on this truck on the back or somewhere. So if y'all could think of a name for this truck, please put that in the comment section. And we'll see who's got the best name for it. Uh, it is a Chevy SSR. I actually drove one of these once. Uh, it was I was working for a dealership trying to sell cars for a very small amount of time. I was not very good at it. Uh, but I did get a chance to drive one. And man, that thing was beat to hell. It was uh it did not drive very good, but I think it was due to the previous owner not taking care of it very well <clears throat> it was just driven ragged hopefully you can see what i'm doing i know the glare is pretty bad This brush is pretty, uh, pretty good. I thought I'd try a, a smaller haired uh, brush just because I was having a little bit of issues rocking the uh, Kafka with such long hairs on such a small, small design. Generally, I, I like the longer hairs. I get a little bit more control with the longer hairs. But since I'm, I'm making such tiny strokes, I <clears throat> thought I'd try something different.
let's see here. I'm trying to keep keep with the flow of the design and have things like they're kind of moving backwards. At this point, I kind of got sort of an iron cross going. I think that's what they're called. You can see that still. I might have to bring this down. I stuffed a piece of paper in there to keep the lid up to where I could record it. Now that I'm getting on these portions, I don't need it. I try to put on some uh, royalty-free music uh, on the background, but it looks like this is about to hit me with a commercial. I'll let that pass, then I'll turn it back on. Generally, I don't pinstripe in silence, and it's actually actually throws me off a little bit. But uh, it's kind of the only way you can get these videos to stay online. If not, uh, YouTube usually takes them off. There's some uh, music on there or sounds that have that are copywritten. <clears throat> kind of like the way that looks. Let's see if I can get a spot that's not too bad, right? I see what happened. I'm logged into my, uh, I pay for the YouTube premium because I use it all the time. Clearly YouTube supports me and what I do. So I figured if I'm gonna pay for any of the music uh, things, I'll just pay for the YouTube one. Plus I like the tutorial, like I'll find tutorials on there. Um, I found a lot of pinstriping stuff in the early days and. If I got to work on my car and I don't know how to do something, usually I can find it on YouTube. So it helps to have that paid uh, membership. But I think I signed into the wrong account. <clears throat> and that's why I'm getting commercials. All right, let's see if I can. I'm going to move this closer to me. A little fine because it's aiming downwards so I'll do what I can to get it upwards try not to rest my pinky on the mirror I'll break it off I was thinking something of a name with maybe like blue in it, the word blue. So maybe we can name the truck something like, I'm unsure, the blue sapphire or something. I mean, sapphire is a hell of a word to write that small, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Such a small space to try to put 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 on a full blown design. It's making my lines all chunky. I 
thought I am going to be hitting uh, 11,000 subscribers here soon. So I thought about maybe doing this as a giveaway. It would be a, a nice item for somebody to put uh, really anywhere in their home or in the garage. Maybe somebody that owns one of these. I think that that'd be cool. Uh, but just a random giveaway. Uh, this was given to me as well, so I figured why not pass it on. I'm thinking about doing like some flames or something on top or on the sides. See, I got all that space on the side, so maybe I could do some flames coming out the the tire well or the fender area. Let's see here. Let's try to stick to the theme of the teardrops going backwards. I know some people ask, um, especially folks that are just, just starting out, they say, how do you even develop a design? I have a hard time developing a design. Well, I have hard times developing designs too. Uh, but really the secret is to uh, look at a lot of designs, uh, watch what other people are doing. Um, there's actually a little feature on Instagram where you could save images onto your Instagram account. I mean, other people can't see uh, your saved stuff. It's kind of just for you. So my saved stuff is nothing but uh, other pinstriping designs that I enjoyed. And I'll look at them and I'll break them down and <clears throat> see what I like about them, see what I don't like about them, and the color scheme and what they're painting on, and try to dissect maybe what was the first color, what was the second color, things like that. Uh, it's really helped me out tremendously. And you'll see some of that stuff creeping into uh, your own work because you just kind of can't help it. So you sort of mimic, mimic what you see until you start being able to do it yourself. So let's see here. another commercial we'll be battling those until I'm done <laughs> I think today we're just gonna film the uh, doing the white and maybe I'll film the rest as I go along <clears throat> try to keep up with this content stuff uh, I know some folks really enjoy the video so I, I try my hardest to uh, make sure and maintain videos regularly I do have something pretty uh, big in the works that I cannot quite speak about yet, but I think uh, folks of this channel would enjoy it tremendously. <clears throat> so that's an exciting thing that's happening for this year. Uh, very much looking forward to getting it started. See, and the second color normally goes pretty smooth. Um, I erased a bunch of times when I did the first color. I don't think I've erased yet. 
but I usually since I already have something down the second color usually comes off pretty naturally for me uh, the first one it's like the skeleton so you really need to be on point <clears throat> everything else is gonna hang off that first bit of the design So you really got to make sure your lines are right where you want them to be because if something is off, once you add to it, it's only going to accentuate that uh, mistake or crooked line or whatever. And sometimes you don't even realize you, you are off so much until you start adding to it. <clears throat> and then when you go to lay down a line you see it's really crammed on one side and, and has a lot of space on the other it makes you wish you would have fixed it to begin with Trying to figure out how I can incorporate this top part with the bottom. I kind of just worked on the top <laughs> and left myself without any bottom. So maybe I'll just follow this line and see where we go. Kind of end up looking like a, like a butterfly. <laughs> Not my intention, but sometimes you end up with shapes that look like stuff. Not a lot you can do about it. The one that happens the most probably is it things come out looking like a face, but again, can't do much about that. I think people always look for faces in art because that's what we're programmed to look at as a face. So people look at artwork and immediately <clears throat> find a face in the within the lines All right, maybe I'll put a little something's in here to fill this space and hopefully not put my hand in the paint. So there you have it. The design as it stands at the moment. I think it looks pretty good actually. As much as I was struggling in the beginning, uh, it doesn't look too bad. So we got all that done in 20 minutes. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, if you have a suggestion for the name of the truck, maybe I could put a little name on here or something. 
Uh, I do think it's going to get some flames on the side. Or maybe some scallops or heck, maybe even some pinstriping. We'll see what happens. That might be hard to film, but again, we'll see what happens. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.